Hey, what's going on, everybody? Brandon Charleston here. I know it's been a, quite a while since I recorded a video and a and tutorial. Uh, I've been traveling, you know, working on a lot of deliverables for clients and things like that. Uh, you know, focusing on the quality uh, for the uh, the partners and clients that I'm serving. So, uh, but nonetheless, I'm back with another tutorial and would love to just hopefully provide you some good value and maybe a new skill uh, that you haven't already thought otherwise thought of. And so. One of the things that I use almost on a daily basis is Appify. Uh, big thing here with web scraping is obviously it's the most fresh data. It's a, a lot of different options when it comes to you know, providing data and, and going through um, the workflows to reach out to your prospects for relevant things. One of the things I talk about, uh, a lot of things I talk about on my channel and on LinkedIn is uh, web scraping is a big thing, right? It's, it's kind of the, uh, the new uh, thing that's it's always been around. Uh, but it's a lot more relevant when it comes to using AI. And also, uh, you know, data needs to be always fresh, right? So when you're sourcing from a database like ZoomInfo or Apollo or any other database, really any SaaS uh, for that matter, a lot of that data uh, could be aged uh, within 24 hours because that person that you reach out to very well could have left their job uh, or something like that where things change, right? So it's always dynamic, it's always fluid. So the more you can web scrape and get into web scraping, uh, the better your data is going to be because it's literally fresh. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how you can use Appify and Appify Actor specifically within a table that you already have built out. There's a couple things when it comes to Clay, uh, which is starting a table and uh, using an Appify Actor as a source. So in other words, if you were to run an Appify Actor and the Actor is, say, completed, uh, they've completed that task, then you can essentially import the, all that data into a table and then run your workflow from there. So that's a really good option uh, to use that as a webhook uh, to where the data is just fed from Appify uh, through Clay. Uh, but this video is going to be more specific to actually using it within a table. So really the Appify integration. And in this workflow, I'm going to be covering over how I scrape or Google Maps, uh, essentially build that into a list of small businesses. And then my interest here is to actually pull the email address from their Facebook page, because a lot of times they put the email address on their Facebook page and not necessarily on their Google Maps. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. So from here, I am in Appify. And you can't see that on the screen because uh, it's cropped in. Uh, but nonetheless, what all you got to do is just register for an Appify account. Um, I think they still provide $5, if I'm not mistaken, of free access uh, just to try it out, which is actually, I mean, it's five bucks uh, and you can get a lot of good results, uh, even if that's just five bucks a month, you know, um, it's free. So you might as well give that a shot and you'll see here that you basically are running uh, a specific memory uh, cache, you know, and then usage uh, based on that. And so I use it uh, pretty often. So, um, and they're always updating their actors, you know, to make sure they're running. And so it's best practice, in my opinion, just to check out, you know, the store, uh, see, you know, what's highly rated, that kind of thing. These are uh, all web scrapers uh, that are, um, you know, usually uh, pretty effective, especially importing it into clay. And so, so what I'm doing here is you just go to Facebook, and then, for example, Facebook page of scraper. And so um, so the difference here is if I were to run, say, I didn't type this in, but Copper Kettle QR, right? So that's scraping one page. If I were to run this, it would just run that one, right? And then I could add, I could add another, and I can add another, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but we're not trying to do that. You know, what I'm trying to do is actually run a clay table that I already built out where it's the variable here is going to be that business is... Uh, Facebook page, right? So what I'm going to do is what I like to do anyway, is I am going to take this scraper and I'm just going to create a task and then I'm just going to just call it whatever task, right? And what that'll do is it'll save it in your task area. And this is just what I found to work best here uh, because it, it populates there. And so you'll see here what I'm talking about. Um, I'm, I'm, you might have a better workflow, but I've noticed that when I save the task, it just allows me to really, on the API side, to be able to identify it much quicker uh, because somehow like, it brings it into my workspace, if you will. And so uh, so what we're going to do is and then you go over to Clay, right? And then I am essentially building out a table that I've already done uh, where it's uh, almost 50,000 rows. So it's pretty much a maxed out table. And I'm trying to um, work, move with the workflow for HVAC companies that I've scraped across Google Maps uh, nationwide. 
And so I've essentially exhausted uh, all possible options. And so now what I want to do is scrape uh, their Facebook page to getting their uh, email address if it hasn't already been provided by Google Maps. And so uh, what you want to do is you're simply going to go to the actor here, and then I'm going to go to JSON. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything here. So you can see here, this is the JSON. You have the URL, and then you have the Facebook or the page, right? And then all you got to do is copy that. And then when you do when you do that, just call the Ad Enrichment, and you're going to do Appify Actor, and you're just going to call the Appify Actor. And then from there, you're going to do, um, I'm just going to edit column, but essentially you're going to add it. And then what you want to do is you're going to see it populate in your Appify Actor. So I'm going to call the Facebook Pages Scraper. And then what you want to do is go ahead and paste that JSON, right? So that JSON, it actually posted uh, all of this right here. But then what you want to do is just change the variable here to whatever column. In this case, it's going to be the Facebook link, right? And then you're just going to run all that stuff from there. And so really, that's about it. And then you can see here, it's actually going to pull quite a bit of good data, actually. Um, I tried running it for Clagent, and it says that it's not authorized. You know, you're going to go ahead and it, there's not a lot of relevant data. And I tried running a Clagent for a GPT-40 Mini. It used to work, um, but as of late, uh, you know, you just got to experiment. And one day it'll work. The other way, the other day, uh, another day it won't. I uh, also tried running something like Zenrose, uh, and it says it's not authorized. So you know what? I'm going to pull out my old friend Appify. So. And it's coming through here right so it actually parsed the data and it's got all the information and you can actually see right here this might be a little golden nugget here but this page is not currently running ads so you know the Facebook transparency uh, part where you can actually populate that and see if uh, this company is actually running ads or not on Facebook so but you can see here they have a website and then they have reviews they have all the data that they would normally uh, so this Appify actor uh, did a good job right and then they obviously have their email address listed um, and so you can see text here this is all the information that is uh, directly on their uh, Facebook page right so uh, you can see email right here so uh, so yeah that's really about it um, and I just let the let the actor uh, rip you know, across the table and I'm gonna have me some uh, fresh email addresses that I know are probably valid and so I'm gonna validate them and then I'm gonna send them on their way to uh, instantly or whatever sequencer uh, that you're using. So uh, if you uh, wanna reach out and you wanna work with us at Top of Funnel, this is what we do on a daily basis. It's not a pitch, it's just what we do, pure facts. You know, uh, feel free to reach out and uh, happy to help. So, uh, but nonetheless, I hope this video was valuable to you. Uh, Appify is definitely a, a really good tool that I use all the time, and I recommend that you try it out as well. Not a paid promotion, anything like that. It just freaking works, right? Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be posting more content, um, and I appreciate you watching it all the way through. Please like and subscribe. And again, thanks for the support, and uh, happy clay making. See ya.